A translation memory is a database containing source language sentences and translated versions of those sentences. These sentences are known as segments. Once a project is finalized, the bilingual files containing the source and translated segments are added to the translation memory. This way, when a new project file is being prepared for translation, its content can be checked against the translation memory content and Trados can automatically apply translations from the translation memory to the new project files. A translation memory can be presented under different formats, but the most common one is probably this one a text file that contains different information. Information about the source and target languages. In this case, English into Spanish. The actual uh, source sentences or segments and the corresponding translations and other information such as crea creation date and time, creator name, client ID or project number. These are the attributes, and they are defined when the translation memory is created. As you can see, the translation memory contains all the source sentences from past projects and their translations. It is actually a translation storage tool. If all projects that get translated are stored in the translation memory, all their translations can be reused in, fut in future projects, leading to savings in time and cost. Let's leave the translation memory for a second to focus on the files that we usually use during translation and how they have to be prepared to be compatible with the use of translation memories. The files we receive from our clients come under different types and formats. They can be PDFs or Word files, as, the, as in the example here. To translate our file in the Trados environment, we need to convert the, the Word file into a compatible format. To do this, we use Tag Editor, and the file that Tag Editor uses is known as TTX file. The TTX file that you can see here contains exactly the same information as the Word file that, that I showed previously. The difference here is that the TTX file has been segmented into sentences or segments. And also, all the formatting information that was contained in the Word file is kept or preserved in the little marks or tags around the sentences. These tags contain information such as paragraph marks or font type or font sizes, etc. The advantage of using TTX files is not only that they can be used together with the translation memory, but also that the linguist can focus on translation, not having to worry about formatting issues. Let's go back to the translation memory. One of the benefits of using the translation memory technology is that it can be used as an analysis tool. A translation memory can be used at project start to determine the leveraging for that particular project, that is, the degree of similarity of the sentences in the new project with the sentences already contained in the translation memory. Let's analyze our TTX file for translation using the translation memory. By doing this, we can provide the Trados logs that are used for pricing. These logs show the number of 100% matches or exact matches between the translation memory and the new file, the number of fuzzy matches of segments that have a certain degree of similarity between the sentences in the new file for translation and the sentences existing in the translation memory. And finally, the number of segments that are new or that have no match between the file and the translation memory. Let's take a look now at the actual process of translating a TTX file using a translation memory. This is what a linguist would see when translating a tag editor file using Trados. 
The window below displays the tag editor file or TTX file with all the source sentences or segments that need to be translated. The window above shows the workbench environment that contains the translation memory that we have previously uploaded. These are all the segments contained in the translation memory. It is the same translation memory as the one that we showed at the beginning of this presentation. To start translating, the linguist would open each of the source sentences or segments in the TTX file for translation and would receive matches from the translation memory above 100% matches or fuzzy matches when they are available. So let's start translating the file as a linguist would do. The linguist will open each of the source sentences and would get matches from the translation memory above. Let's open the first of the source sentences. As you can see, the translation memory is giving us a suggestion. The match is not a 100% match, but a fuzzy match. It has a high level of similarity. B there is a high level of similarity between our source sentence and the source sentence found in the translation memory. And that's why the translation memory is giving us a suggestion that we can still uh, reuse and recycle. Now we can move to the next one. The next segment is a completely new segment and that is why the translation memory is not giving us any suggestion because there is nothing similar contained in the translation memory for this sentence. We can close the segment and move to the next one. Again, this is a fuzzy match and the translation memory is giving us a, suggest a suggested translation. There are still some discrepancies between the source sentence in our, in our file and the source sentence in the translation memory. But still, we can uh, reuse the suggestion given by the translation memory, customizing it a bit. We can close it and move to the next one. This is an example of a 100% match. It is an exact match, which means that the source sentence in our file for translation matches completely the source sentence found in the translation memory. And that's why the translation that the translation memory is giving back to us is a 100% match. We don't need to do anything with this segment, but close it and move to the next one. The next one is again an example of a new segment. There is nothing similar in the translation memory, so we need to translate it from scratch. We can close it and open the next one. As you can see here, um, there is an extra text in our source sentence that is not uh, present in the one uh, present in the translation memory but still the rest can be reused. So we just need to add the missing translation to this sentence. We move to the next segment. And finally, this is again a 100% match. We receive a suggestion that we can reuse completely. So we can close it and finish our translation. It is important to note that at which, as we translate, two things are happening. On the one hand, our tag editor file is becoming a bilingual file containing both the source sentences and their translations. At the end of the translation process, this bilingual file can be cleaned up against the translation memory to produce a word file that is identical in format as the source word file that we showed at the beginning of this presentation. This is the source file and this is the clean file, the clean translation. 
At the same time, as we translate, we are sending all our translations for this file to the translation memory so that they can be reused in future projects. As you can see, the segment that we have just translated and uploaded into the translation memory has been saved to the translation memory with all the information that is relevant to it. Let's finish this presentation uh, with the main benefits that the TM usage can provide. The, fir the first one is consistency. By using the translation memory technology, we are uh, ensuring that the translated documents are consistent in style and terminology. This is very important for long-term projects or accounts, or when using, for example, several linguists on the same project. The translation memory can also serve as a terminology repository, since linguists can perform terminology searches as they work on the translation. Time saving. The translation memory accelerates the overall translation process. Since the translation memory remembers previously translated material, translators have to f translate it only once. Cost reduction. Translation memory reduces costs of long-term translation projects, since the cost of 100% matches, fuzzy matches and new segments is different. Completeness of translation. Trados doesn't accept empty target segments, and this ensures that all segments will be translated. And finally, focus on translation, not formatting. This enables translators to focus on the translation task without having to worry about the specific formatting issues, as those will be uh, preserved in the formatting tags around segments. <laughs>